Hello, I'm Kay. Next tutorial. This tutorial is meant to be another one of the witches from the movie Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. More specifically, it's meant to be Muriel. And this is another one of those looks that's been requested quite a lot lately, so especially after I did my Horned Witch makeup. <laughs> so yeah, and the first, I've flashed on the screen now the first few people that requested it. But the first person who requested it was twisted 666 ified yeah, never <laughs> pronouncing all of that right. Pop your name there, so thank you. Thanks everyone that requested it, but you were the first person. But yeah, so if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using two prosthetics. I'm going to be using a nose and a chin, because she's got quite an elongated nose and chin in the film. So yeah, uh, I was going to use a brow piece as well, but I thought I could just as easily make that with liquid latex. And just rather than sculpting a whole new brow, I think I could just... Because she's got a very furrowed brow, and I think I could do that with liquid latex. So I'm going to be blocking out my eyebrows to apply liquid latex over the top of them. So I'll pop a link here to a tutorial I've done in the past to teach you guys how to block them out. Make sure to uh, apply an extra layer of spirit gum at the end, just to, so you know they're extra safe when you remove it. Um, and I'll pop links, a link here rather to a tutorial that I've done in the past to teach you guys how to make gelatin prosthetics. And the, the ones that I'm just teaching you how to make in that video are actually the ones I'm using as well. Um, the same ones that I use for my witch, most of my witch tutorials. Um, the nose and the chin, just because they're very, very similar and I can change a lot of it with shading. So, yeah. So there we are. So that's my eyebrows all blocked out. So then I'm going to take uh, some Pro Stick, or you could use Spirit Gum, and I'm going to use that to stick down my two prosthetics. So my gelatin, nose, and chin. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to apply a layer of the... Uh, Pro stick inside the prosthetic and on the area here. Let it almost dry, maybe get a little bit tacky, and then it'll come and press it down all the edges and make sure it's completely stuck. So there we are. So I've applied my prosthetics and I've let the glue dry so they're nice and secure. Then I can take some witch hazel, which you can get at most pharmacies and places like that because it's the kind of thing you put on bruises and sprains uh, to soothe the skin kind of thing. But it also blends gelatin really nicely. So I'm going to take a cotton bud and a small amount of the witch hazel and really, really slowly and gently just roll away at the edge of my prosthetic and it will blend them off into the skin. I just finished up by applying a layer of liquid latex around the edge of my chin prosthetic because in the past, I know if I'm talking a lot, it tends to loosen up some of the edges so I've found that by doing this it keeps everything in place. So then I'm going to take some more liquid latex and a sponge and I'm going to apply it all over my forehead and over my brows because that's going to be the area that I'm going to build up uh, for the angry brow. So yeah, so I'm going to do about three coats of latex and let it dry in between and then I can work on adding some tissue in there. Then I can take some tissue that I've torn into, so I've got the thinner halves. And now the idea is that once I've applied a layer of liquid latex in the area I want it to be, I can just stick down a small piece of tissue at a time. So I'm going to be building up the usual shape. I do want to do an angry brow. Um, it's going to be very much a V shape. So here, and it's going to be very furrowed. It does help to pull an angry expression whilst doing it, so it pushes the latex in the direction you want it to go. So it's going to be heavier here, and it's going to get going to fade out. So I'm going to do around probably four coats of tissue around here, then maybe two on the outside. Just keep building it up and building it up until you've got a very furrowed expression. So there we are, so a nice furrowed brow. So now I've done that, I can start on the foundation. So I'm going to start with a white and then build up different like shades of dark blue maybe and some obviously greys and yeah. So I'm going to use um, my Snazaroo Clown White as always and I'm going to apply that all over my face and my ears and my neck. Okay, so then I'm going to take my Grimace Black Cream and I seem to use that in every single tutorial. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go cover my entire eyelid and just underneath my eye, then I can take a new brush and blend it out. Yep, so just like that, then I'm going to take my new brush and I'm just going to blend that colour, can just keep blending and blending it until it just tapers off. You can go quite low down, the idea is not to go too far up here. I'm going to just accentuate that brow shape so it's more focused here and it tapers off up here so just to make it look more angry. So there we are, just like that. <laughs> so low here, high here. Yeah. So now I've done that I can work on the other eye. 
Okay, so then I can take um, a, a sharp angle brush and I'm going to take the cream again and start drawing on the eyebrows. So she's got very, very, very thin eyebrows drawn a little bit higher than your own natural brows would be and very, very arched. Um, I'm not going to just draw them on in, that, in the normal fashion. I'm going to spike them as I'm doing it because they're quite untidy. So, so I'm going to take the colour, draw on the initial shape and then wisp the colour in just to make them look untidy. So there we are, so quiet, theatrical, and fairly bushy. <laughs> so then I'm going to take a Collection 2000 Extreme Felt Eyeliner Pen in black, um, and I'm going to start the fun part, I'm going to start drawing on the cracks. So try not to copy it too much, the original image, because it's better just to get a nice flow with it, really. It doesn't have to be exactly the same pattern that she has, as long as they're, cause she, as long as they're real, evident cracks all over the face. It's fine, just gently go all, all around the face, go thicker in some areas um, and taper it off lighter in other areas, like a root of a tree trunk basically. Then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow by MAC, this is going to be the Carbon, and I'm going to just use it to contour the cheekbones really heavily, So, and I'm going to go through the temples as well, because she has got really sharp angular cheekbones. <laughs> Then I'm going to take some black hairspray and make sure you're in a well ventilated area before you do this obviously and breathe in obviously when you're spraying so you don't, well, before you spray so you don't yeah, inhale it <laughs> and I'm going to just from a distance just spray it really really lightly around the edge of my face and I'm also going to spray it very lightly in the middle just to give a tiny bit more of, well just to break up the white really and just to make it look more grayscale. Then I'm going to take my Sugar Pill Pro palette and I'm going to take a, the dark green and the dark blue from this palette which is the Midori and the Velocity and the idea is I'm going to take a medium fluffy brush, both of them, and just stipple it all over this just to add more texture in to make it more earthy not like a heck load of colour, just like just a subtle hint all over I'm then going to line the waterline of both my eyes with a sleek ink part in Dominatrix, so black For the lips, I'm going to use a uh, Barry M number 37 black lipstick, love this stuff, and on top of that I'm going to put some OCC uh, lip tar in their, their black, or as they call it, tart. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, the lip shape's going to be very, very, very full, with a very little cupid's bow for some reason, it's just very oval shaped, there's no, not really much emphasis on the cupid's bow, which is bizarre, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, so... Super full lips, yeah. So then before I put in my contact lenses, I'm going to do a few more little cracks here and there, just just to add some more detailing in there, why not? Um, and because you really want some really fine cracks well, not just these bigger ones. Uh, and I'm also going to extend it onto my neck. Okay, so I've carried the pattern onto my neck, the same foundation colour in the cracks. And last thing I'm going to do now is just take some more of that black cream, and I'm going to trace really, really lightly and blend it out. Um, a nasal labial fold either side and I'm going to do some crow's feet as well so just really lightly taper the lines outwards wherever you want the wrinkles to be So there we are, so I finished the look off by popping in two super bright blue contact lenses from Camo Eyes. Uh, I'll pop the link in the description bar below. Uh, I popped on a medium to long uh, black wig which um, I've straightened and made it ever so slightly scrunched up and messy. Um, I've got a black shirt on that's got long sleeves, obviously you would paint your hands as well if you were doing it but because I'm on the computer and everything I don't really want to get paint everywhere so I'm not going to do my hands. Um, the neck piece I made, just a simple piece really, out of cardboard and feathers really, that's spray painted black just because it goes around the neck at the top here and yeah just hopefully it's like the one she has in the film. The only other thing you could do is to take like a Mayron uh, tooth 
enamel, like a black tooth enamel, uh, and coat it one wash over all of your teeth, not to black them out, just to make them look really dark and gross. Because at the end, towards the end of the film, when she's getting beaten up, um, I suppose it's supposed to be black blood, I guess, but she has her mouth is quite black. Um, I'm, go I'm not doing it myself because at the beginning, I'm going to go after the beginning of the film where she looks more more like this her teeth don't look nearly as bad as they do towards the end of the film so i'm gonna leave that for now <laughs> um but yeah that's pretty much it really <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like it please make sure to you know rate comment subscribe and all that jazz it super super helps me out and yeah so until next time bye